on to question 4, y equals 2x plus 3. And we have to graph it, okay? Going to graph the equation. So what I want you to do is do this. Write x, y, and put up a wee, make up a wee table here, okay? And um, let's see. Just for fun, I'm going to put in a couple of negative numbers. I'm going to go negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2, okay? And on the x, uh, and um, the, well, I want you to write down y equals 2x plus 3, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to plot this using the um, table method, okay? And this is the really the most versatile method of all, because um, if you learn this method, then you can plot all sorts of graphs, like x squared minus 4, which actually turns out to be a curve that looks like that, okay? Or you can also graph y equals x cubed, uh, you know, 2x cubed minus 3x squared plus 4x and so on using the table method and that will be a curve with two terms in it, okay? Or you could graph all sorts of funny things like y equals 3 to the power of x minus 1 which will be a curve that goes like that, okay? And so you can graph all sorts of things if you learn how to use a table, okay? Um, when we get to the next questions, uh, we will also just use the x and y intercept uh, method, okay, so for some of these questions. And, and that's handy for a straight line, but, uh, but you'll find the table method in general for, uh, for most math is most versatile. So that, that's the one uh, that you need to know, you, you will need to know how to do it, okay? Okay, so y equals 2x plus 3. And what I want you to do is simply go 2 parentheses plus 3, okay? And we have made these numbers up. Negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. I just, we just made them up out of thin air. You could make up any numbers you want. The reason I picked these is because this is the x-axis and I want my points to be around, um, you know, the point of origin 0, 0, around here. Because I don't want to be plugging in negative 2,000 and negative 1,000 and have points way off, or, or 100 and 200 and have them way off over here. I want the points around 0 so that I can graph the graph around there, okay? So when x is negative 2, I plug it in here, and I get 2 times negative 2 plus 3. What does that make? I just write it out carefully, step by step. What's 2 times negative 2? negative 4, right? And then plus 3, what does that make? 4 negatives and 3 positives. Put them together and you have 1 negative, negative 1, okay? So the y value is negative 1, okay? And we've calculated that. So given the x value negative 2, we calculate the y value to be negative 1. So when x is negative 1, we're going to calculate the y value. I kind of like the idea of doing this all the way down. 2 parentheses plus 3. If you do this, 2 parentheses plus 3, 2 parentheses plus 3, all you then have to do is fill in the x values into the parentheses and calculate it step by step like a computer and get it right, you know? So that's really the nicest way to do it. So 2 times negative 1 plus 3, 2 times 0 plus 3, 2 times 1 plus 3, 2 times 2 plus 3. And that is the table method. Isn't that so simple? See? And if, once you know how to do that, then you can plot all sorts of crazy curves in Algebra 1 and, and, and more, more so in Algebra 2, right? Or intermediate algebra. So, um, 2 times negative 1 plus 3, what does that make? Negative 2 plus 3, which is positive 1. 2 times 0 plus 3. So, and, and now I like to put the 1 over here because then we have x, y in the same place. See that? x, y. Negative 2, negative 1. It's kind of like an ordered pair. Negative 1, 1, and so on. Right? So, um, then we've got, you know, 2 times 0 plus 3, that would be 0 plus 3, which is 3, so I like to put that there, and then it kind of looks like an ordered pair, x, y, 0, 3, you know. So go ahead and calculate these, what do you get? 
So this would be 2 plus 3, 5. And this is 4 plus 3, 7. So 5, 7. And here we have our x value and our y value beside each other. Okay. So then we can plot them on the graph. So when x is negative 2 and y is negative 1, where is that point? x is negative 2 and y is negative 1. x is negative 2, y is negative 1. That would be here, right? When x is negative 1 and y is 1, where is that? x is negative 1 and y is positive 1, that is here. When x is 0 and y is 3, where is that? 0, 3, that would be here. See, x is 0 and the y value is 3. See that? x is 0, y is 3. When x is 1 and y is 5, where is that? This is x is 1, right? y is 5 would be up here. See that? 5. When x is 2 and y is 7. x is 2, y is 7. Okay, and all your points should be in a straight line because this is just an x value by itself. Okay, later in, in later courses when you have an x squared or an x cubed or a, something to the power of x, then you have these curves. Okay, but when in, in this, for these guys, you just have x by himself, and so you just have a straight line. So all we need to do is just get a ruler and draw join up the points carefully and I mean like the one thing you gotta be careful is would you ju just make sure your your line and your points are actually going through where these lines intersect you see the way they're going through corners you know ex it, like this line is going to go exactly through these corners okay so I mean that that's what you gotta do and and um, so anyway, you just draw a straight line through the points, and there we have it. And that is the equation y equals 2x plus 3. Okay, and just notice also that, see how we have the point 0, 3 from question 2 here, see that? Which is a solution of y equals 2x plus 3. And you see how the point 0, 3 occurs on the line right here? Okay. So the point occurs on the line, therefore it's a solution to the equation. Obviously it is because 2 times 0 plus 3 gives 3, right?